hello everyone welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite beaches in oslo or like the beaches i think are the best ones here in oslo or like in the oslo area or close to oslo so in my opinion these are the best ones i hope this can give you some inspiration some ideas if you're planning to spend summer here in oslo uh, i know that many people think oslo do not have beaches and it's not like a summery place but I think you're a little bit wrong because there's like really cool places in Oslo to spend a day in the beach or even like an afternoon just going for a swim. I also have to say that I'm only going to talk about uh, beaches to the fjord. I'm not going to talk about rivers or lakes. I will leave that to another video. So without further ado, here are my favorite beaches in Oslo. We are going to start with the city center and the most famous one in the city center, it has to be T. Uvholmen Strand. I hope I'm saying this correctly, it's quite difficult to say. Basically, this beach is right in the city center in a new part of Oslo called Akebrige, which is not so new anymore, but still, it looks new. <laughs> and the beach is right next to this very, very famous museum, the Astrup Fanli Museum. There's always so many tourists in this area, and I'm sure that if you came to Oslo or if you're coming to Oslo, you have visited this museum for sure. And right next to it, there's a little beach with like pebbles um, to the fjord, to this like canal, which is a little bit closed off from the rest of the fjord. And a lot of people like to bathe there. If you continue to walk until the tip of Akebrige and then around it, all that front has this like wooden decks and wooden steps to the water where you can actually swim from there. So people use it a lot as a summer spot for swimming. Kind of like a urban beach without sand. <laughs> the people who go there are mostly from like a young generation and um, there's also a lot of tourists looking at you, just like not in the beach, just there to see the area and the museums. So for me, it's like half half really nice and half a little bit weird because of that but it's a very popular place the next place i'm going to talk about is called sorenga Sjöbad, and this is in a very new area of oslo this one is really new and it's called barcode and then Sor sorenga and it's like around and behind the opera house to get there you basically go to the opera house go around it and in the back there's this like floating bridge um, you have to cross that bridge and you arrive to Sorenga and then you have to walk a little bit along the like waterfront which also has some like wooden decks and steps you can bathe in and if you continue you'll reach the uh, like the bathing area the beach which is also formed with these uh, wooden decks which have like ramps steps even like a little part in the middle with sand it also has like a grass area and yeah so you have like a lot of possibilities and as you can see here in the videos it was completely full of people so it's actually a very popular place again it's a more urban place i prefer this one to the previous one i've talked about just because it looks a little bit more private um, and it has all of these different uh, wooden decks with like seats and beds and you know like it has so many possibilities to reach the water as well the view from here can also be very spectacular because you can see the opera and all the new buildings in barcode which i think is lovely and it also has a couple of restaurants uh, close by it has a really famous like ice cream place so it's definitely like a really nice place to go um, if it's a hot sunny day. Next I'm going to go to Bigdoy, which is a peninsula in Oslo. I go there quite a lot and it has my favorite beach in Oslo. It's called Paradis Bukta. It's really nice because to reach the beach you can either take the bus or you know go with the bicycle or the car but you don't get really close to it you have to get out of the bus or park quite far away and then walk in the middle of the forest it has this like really beautiful path to the beach and 
when you arrive, when you're getting closer, in between the trees, you see the ocean, it's more like the fjord, <laughs> but you see the water and it just looks so magical. It has trees, pine trees, um, almost until the water. And then it has a big bank of sand around um, the water with some stones. So I don't know, I just think it's so magical. It looks so natural and wild. I go there even in winter because it's just so beautiful. By the way, all the places I'm talking about today, they have uh, infrastructures like toilets. Some of them have little houses where you can buy ice cream. So they're really well equipped um, and showers and stuff like that. The next beach in the Big Doi area is Hook. And Hook is very popular, okay? It will definitely have a lot of people. To reach the beach, you have to pass through a park in a way that has like, I think it has like a volleyball field, a basketball field, and like a lot of grass area where you can uh, lay in the shadow under some trees. So it's definitely really nice. Also, quite natural, looks quite natural. And then when you reach the beach, you have quite a lot of grass almost until the sand. Then you have a little bit of sand, some rocks, and then the water, the fjord. And you have a very pretty view. It's quite big. This is also a very popular beach. I don't go there a lot because I always prefer the Paradis Bukta, but I know many people that prefer this one. So you definitely should check it out. Then also in Big Doi, you have another beach that I discovered, well, I knew about it, but I've never been there before this year. So the first time I was there was a couple of weeks ago and I was expecting it to be okay. And I was so surprised. I loved the beach. It's called Big Doi Sjöbad and it's right next to where the boats are. So there's like, like a little boat dock on the right side of the beach. And that was why I was a little bit apprehensive in going there, because I normally do not like to be super close to the boats. This beach is actually quite, like you have the boats there, but you don't feel you are so close to the boat docks. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks also super natural. It has this little like uh, walking concrete deck around it it creates like this half circle kind of and it's really long it stretches quite a bit so i think if you stay in one tip of the beach it's very different from staying in the other like in the opposite tip of the beach the water was quite okay so not so much polluted by the boats because the first two places i talked about they were really close to the city center and there are quite a lot of boats that go through there. The first beach I told you guys in this video, uh, it actually is right next to a very big, one of the main Oslo uh, boat docks. So there you can have a little bit more pollution in the water, whilst here, even if it's so close to the boats, I didn't notice it. Now we are going to Fornebu, which is a area um, close to Oslo city center. If you take the bus, I think you can get there in maybe 20 minutes from Oslo city center. It's called, and I have to read this because it's so difficult, Strand. <laughs> and this is a very lovely beach. I go there so many times. It's huge it has a lot of sand and the back of the beach is basically a huge park and the view from the beach is just amazing of the fjord and the little islands it's also in my opinion one of the best beaches to go if you have kids if you're like a big group or just if you have like children or babies because it's super safe it has a lot of amenities it has like barbecue areas and picnic tables it has everything another beach is called Verven Bukta this is probably one of the most far away ones I'm going to talk about but I really loved it it's also very like family and baby friendly and it also has really nice toilets it even has a restaurant that sell amazing food it's quite big um, it has a floating deck with some steps on it. For reaching this one, I think you need a car. I think you can go by bus, but 
it's not the easiest thing. The next place I'm going to talk about, it's also a little bit far away from the city center, but it's definitely worth the trip. You can take the, well, we took the train to get there and then you have to walk a little bit, um, but it's so nice. The walk is really nice and then you have two options here, okay? You can either stay in Kadetanga Beach, uh, which is relatively new. It has quite a bit of sand, also wooden decks and like chairs and beds made for you to lay down. And then it has this huge famous jumping platform and it's so high. I think it's like the reason why it is famous, why so many people like to go there. It's because of this really high tower where you can jump from. And then you have another option that if you continue walking, cross this really cute <laughs> wooden bridge to the and like a small island on the other side, you have two more options of beaches on that island, actually three options if you count with the naked beach as well. Um, I tried just one of the beaches. I was in Botbukta and it was lovely. It has a huge valley of grass and it's kind of like inclinated looking at the ocean. So even if you are way back in the grass, you can see the fjord, it's not the ocean, <laughs> the fjords. And then it has like this cute little beach in front. And it also has like a barbecue place with a little table. You can go for a walk around the little island, which is also very nice. The last place I'm going to talk about is Langoyena Strand. And this is a beach in an island that's in the fjord closer to the city center of Oslo. So you can take a boat to get to the island from Akebrige. The island is really funny because it used to be a, a like a garbage landfill, I think it, you call it like this. Uh, and then with time they transformed it into basically a natural reserve and now it looks amazing. You would never say it was a landfill before. It's also really nice because you can actually camp there without paying. It's free to camp in this island. You can just like pick a place you like and put your tent and stay there, sleep there. The beach is huge, it's enormous, everything looks so natural, the water is so translucent, so beautiful and it's completely safe to swim. But if you're staying in the island, you cannot drink water from the tap. The water is not drinkable. I guess it's because before it was a landfill. But swimming is completely safe. It's no problem. And these were my favorite beaches in Oslo or like Oslo outskirts included. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. If you want to know more details about the, all the beaches I have talked about, you can go to my blog post, it's on the description box and there I talk a little bit more about each beach and I also listed some other beaches I have not mentioned in this video that are in Oslo. If you guys know of more nice beaches that I have not mentioned here, please write them down in the comments. I hope you guys have a lovely summer and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!